Yo, what's going on people? My name is Josh, aka The Lucky Botter, and today I'm going to be taking you through one of the hypest collabs of the Supreme season, and that is Supreme and Burberry. I'm going to be showing you everything in regards to Swift Soul, how to set it up, what to do, and how to maximize your chances of hitting these items. There's a fair few different items coming up in this drop with a loads of profitability. So we'll take a look at exactly how to set up our resale analysis and what you should be going for on the day. Okay, so I'm now gonna bring up the app and this is exactly where we're gonna be going on to setting it up and showing you the items dropping on Supreme this week. So of course, we are currently on the homepage and from here, this is where you're gonna be seeing loads of different statistics of the stuff that you've hit, stuff that's been declined. Not only that, but a load of upcoming releases because as you know, Swift Soul is not just a Supreme bot, but today we are looking at Supreme. So we're gonna go into the grid view and here, this is where you're going to be picking your modules that you're going to be running. So of course, we wanna go on to Supreme. Now here, this is where you're going to be able to create your tasks ready to run on the day. Now before that though, there's a couple of things that we wanna go through and the first one is billing profiles. So what you wanna do is click on the cards just on the bottom right there. And this is where you're going to be adding in all the different cards and billing profile that you're gonna be using to check out on Supreme. Now, when it comes to Supreme, every single bit of information needs to be unique if you want to go for the same item, but multiple times. For instance, let's say you want the BOGO tomorrow, the hoodie or the t-shirt, doesn't matter. Let's say you wanted both colorways. Well, guess what? Supreme won't let you with the same details. Now, the stuff that actually has to be different is basically everything. Your name, your address, your phone number, your email address and your card details. All of it has to be unique, but that doesn't mean you need loads of different addresses because what you can do is something called jig your profile, where basically what you do is you change your profile enough so that Supreme doesn't see it's the same person or their automated system doesn't, but you're changing it not too much so that your postman will still deliver the package to your house because the last thing you want is to change it so much that they don't even know who it's going to. So if your name was John Smith, what you might do on a second profile is do John Smith or J-O-N instead of J-O-H-N and do some misspelling. And this is exactly what you wanna do on your addresses as well. Now, the harder you jig, the less likely it is that Supreme is gonna catch you. However, you don't wanna to jig too hard because of all the postage issues, etc. So phone number. Now, if you're going to be going for something or two different things, the same items, you need to make sure the phone number is different. Now, when it comes to that, you could just use random phone numbers if you like. They never use your phone to call or they never call you for anything. With email addresses, generally speaking, you want to get yourself a couple of Gmails, a couple of Hotmails, Outlooks, Yahoo. It doesn't matter. Supreme doesn't have a preference in regards to what emails you use. And actually, they hardly send emails anyway, the bastards. But they've actually been better at that recently. But anyway, now if let's say on the address you was living at 1 Bond Street, I would probably change that to basically show something like 1 double O N D one boond st street because if you lived at one bond street and you have the exact same postcode like that then you're probably going to get that delivered now the postcode or the zip code should stay the same you don't change that and supreme basically doesn't stop you if you don't change that and the same with the city that should stay the same now of course when it comes to payment you cannot check out with the same card it doesn't matter if your profile is totally different the card needs to be unique now, there are some virtual cards like privacy, etc., that do not work on Supreme. So what I would recommend that you do is basically test something. You'll see loads of people checking out socks or boxer shorts, briefs, whatever you want to call them, just to check if their profiles work and if their card works. Now, generally speaking, most cards do, but there are some cards that are blocked. And again, make sure that you check that before you run on the day because the last thing you want is a decline because your card doesn't work. It's as simple as that. So once you've created a load of different profiles to go for the same item, they will be stored underneath the profiles tab here. We're then gonna go back in to our tasks and this is where we're going to see exactly what is dropping this week. So what I'm gonna do here is actually type in Burberry at the top. The reason why is that that's just gonna filter all the different items for this week. There are some other items, but let's face it, the only thing we're really caring about is the Burberry collaboration. So first and foremost, there is the tracksuit. Now this is actually rumored to be a Burberry exclusive and dropping on the Burberry website, which of course that isn't for Swift Soul, but they've loaded it just in case it does come on the Supreme website in case you wanna go for it. You then have the rugby shirt and the rugby shirt, I find it to be quite cool. 
However, rugby shirts and this collaboration, I don't think it's gonna do that well on the aftermarket, but I'll be honest, I can see near enough all of the Burberry items reselling because people are gonna want it just for the fact that it's a Burberry X Supreme collaboration. We then go on to probably what I think is the best item of the week, and that is, of course, the Burberry Bogos. For me, all colorways are a go, black, pink, or gray. You will not go wrong. Now, generally speaking, when it comes to these items, it's usually smalls are the most expensive ones, then XL, then large, and then medium. If they drop a double XL, which is very rare that they do that, that will be one of the highest payout items as well. So make sure that you basically go for either XL small or double XL if you're not getting it for a personal and you're getting it for resale. So after that, we've then got some hats. Now, the hats are rumored that they're not going to be coming out until next week, but it's loaded on the app just in case they do drop, but don't be surprised if they don't drop this week. We then have a track jacket. In all honesty, I think it's gonna be a bit too expensive. However, for a leather jacket, that retail is still quite low, but a really nice logo on the back. That is the iconic Burberry logo. So it could do all right for those that really love it. I'm really loving the deck. The original Burberry print just with Supreme on it. They've done that very, very tastefully and that will look great on anyone's wall, basically. I think that's a hot item this week. I think that's potentially a sleeper item, but no one's sleeping on this stuff. Like if someone sees that in stock still, they will go for it. But that is an item to go for it. That is a sure cop, 100%. You then have the trench coats. Now the trench coats are basically a staple piece of Burberry. They are some of the most iconic pieces of clothing that Burberry do. Now, this retail is actually very low compared to what it usually is just without the Supreme branding. But there's not many people that are gonna be paying $1,000 or near on for a coat just to rock to flex. But I still do think it will do numbers in the aftermarket. This is probably my second favorite, and this is the Burberry Box logo t-shirt. As we know, we've had a Tiffany logo t-shirt previously. That's still doing very well. But the Burberry is just very, very clean. Two colors, black or white, which actually most of the time, when you only have two colors, it usually brings a resale price up because there's no alternative to go for. When it usually comes to BOGOs, whether it's hoodies, jumpers, so crewnecks or t-shirts, all of the prices stay low for the simple fact that people just go for a different color to get the similar look. Whereas there's only two clean colors on this drop. You then have the jeans. The jeans are pretty cool. You have obviously the two iconic Burberry prints as well as the blue with the logo on the back pocket, which is a pretty cool design. And then, of course, you have the jacket to match that as well, which some people will want the full set. We then have the pajamas. So you have both um, basically the top and the bottoms. Uh, they're a silk pajama set. However, again, that is Burberry exclusive. So I'm going to create my task now. I'm going to click on new task. I'm going to type in Burberry and I'm going to be going for, let's say, the box hooded box logo. Yeah, <laughs> the, um, the Burberry one. So quantity, it's always one, remember. The reason why there's a different quantity number is because sometimes Supreme will drop something where you're able to get more than one. This isn't one of those items. Remember what I said. It's one item per profile. Now size, you can either pick a size or you can go random. Now, I wouldn't bet on Supreme definitely dropping double XL, but it's going to be a safe bet that they'll drop every other one. But the safest bet is just to go random because no matter which one you get, it is going to have resale value. Now, color, you can either go black, gray, or pink, or again, you can go random. I'm just gonna put pink in there because I really like the pink color. And then for the profiles, if you have a load of different profiles loaded inside of Swift Soul, they will list them all there. And I'm gonna put in the test profile right there. Now you've got two modes, but we only recommend one mode at the moment, and that is drop mode. The reason why is because that's shown to have the best checkout, so keep that running. Now there is PayPal that you can turn on and do a PayPal checkout. However, sometimes on high traffic drops, that just doesn't work. So we don't recommend going for that. Go for credit card checkout. Now start time, you can either use a timer or you can go manual where you start it yourself. We recommend going manual. That's generally the best way of doing it. So once you've done that, you press create task and you are ready to go inside of your list. Now, of course, you're going to have more than that. I'm going to have more than that. We're going to be going for more than one thing. Now, a couple of things that you want to ensure that you're doing is press the plus button and opening up a capture harvester. Now, not only will this have the captures there, which is those little grids that you've got to press to make sure that you're a human. But if for some reason Supreme on their cart step, add something like a slider or a hold the circle or draw, which they've done before, especially on the hype, hype drops, that will pop up in that window. 
Swift Soul will see that in the background and they'll initiate that for you in the Capture Harvester so you can add to cart and then it will go seamlessly adding to cart. And then hopefully what you see is a checkout once you've done any captures that it asks for and any add to cart steps. Ensure that you have your Capture Harvester open though so you can see all that. Now, the last things really to show are the settings. Now, in the settings, there's a few things that you can do. You can basically add a Discord webhook. This is where if you have any form of checkouts or fails, it will push straight to Discord for you so that you can see all the notifications. Now, on that, if you want to learn more on how to do that, go down below. In the description, we have a guide. Background mode, you want to put on if you can. The reason why is because that will make sure that Swift Soul still works if you come out of the app, whether someone calls you, texts you, or you have to quickly put your phone down or something like that. But just ensure that you're following any error prompts because there are some settings in your phone where you want to allow Swift Soul to basically use your location settings throughout. So not just when you're using the app, but also away from the app as well. Now, smart tasks, leave that for this. You can put proxies in. However, we don't recommend doing that because it does slow down the checkout process. Most time you are good for around 10 checkouts without changing your proxies or without not having your normal IP address. Basically, your IP address is a unique address to where you are. The more IP addresses you've got, Supreme won't know it's one person going for all of these items. But as I say, just go for around 10 items and you will be fine. You can also set custom delays. However, we don't recommend doing that. Let Swift Soul do that in the background and leave them to do the work. They know what's going on on the website, not really us. But ensure that you have checked your region and that the region is correct. Whether you're EU, US or JP, ensure that you've put the correct region in there. And there you guys have it. We hope this has helped you ready for the drop. Of course, just remember that on these sort of drops, when it's hype items such as these, Supreme can do anything. And to be honest, they're generally quite good at stopping bots whenever they want. So we do recommend that you go manual. Of course, we want to see loads of success with Swift Soul, but we also ultimately want to see you here. Let us know how you do. Make sure to tweet us. Make sure to come into the Discord and tell us what you hit. So for tomorrow, and as always, be lucky.